Hey, what's up? Wizard Foo here. Um, and I have a small, I have a small victory I'm celebrating right now. And uh, I'll share that with you. It's been a crazy busy week here at GDC. Lots of um, lots of new things coming out, like a, a haptic vest I tried yesterday. It was a cool jam session. Um, I tried out some Cintiq, really nice um, tablets to work on, to paint with. And I was learning some ZBrush. Man, it's been a really fun time here at GDC. Playing lots of games, lots of indie games. Um, Day of the Dev games and indie mega booth games. But uh, let's let's get on some uh, showing you the code that I just did. Basically, the bug I was trying to tackle. This took a lot longer than I thought it would, but um, let's uh oh let's first let's first show what it's like without the bug fix. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put Rock, the character there, really close to this fire. And you see how his uh, cyan-colored bounding box keeps flickering? That's because he has a shadow that he's projecting as well, which expands his bounding box, his two-dimensional bounding box. The game uses, or this, this voxel engine that I've written here, uses uh, two-dimensional bounding boxes to know which entities need to be repainted or erased and repainted whenever an animation needs to change its frame. So uh, this whole flickering bounding box issue is quite a bad thing, right? If the whole engine relies on those bounding boxes being accurate, how, you know, it's just a big issue that could potentially uh, cause lots and lots of other issues. So uh, this is <laughs> such a simple fix. Basically, I'm just backing up the bounding box and then restoring it after painting the voxels. Painting the voxels here, there's this is kind of how this works right now. At first, it erases any voxels it needs to. Then it goes and... <clears throat> Uh, repaint any entities that were basically uh, whenever we're erasing voxels we also repaint anything that was underneath that thing that just got erased so that uh, for example if uh, the character is on top and there's some ground underneath them uh, it would first erase the character and all those voxels and then it would allow the ground to redraw itself and then it would repaint the voxels uh, for that character in here um, because it's uh, basically just keeping it all, all the types of um, voxel edits are going on at the same time. So these are all, all the erases here. Here's all the repaints, basically. And here's all the paints. This is actually, fi the final step is to go and paint any, any voxels that are, uh, need to be painted. And uh, this actually uses, expands the paint box using the cast shadows. Uh, but this right here, we want to actually back up the paint, uh, the paint box and restore it because I think what's happening here, I'm not exactly sure, but I think what's happening is that uh, it's not casting these shadows, these voxels, until it gets to here. So, so it caused those the, that flicker. And now with this fix, uh, it basically is a nice solid box. So I can stand next to this flame here, and Rock's shadow doesn't, fl or his his bounding box doesn't flicker like it used to. So hopefully that solves a lot of issues in the future. It just won't even happen because this is this bug is fixed now. Uh, what I'm trying to tackle next is that little. There's you can see the the background is pink, right? There's the background. You can see that it's just totally pink. Um, but if we go up here, when we're animating this flame. And we stand near it, especially. I've noticed that causes it to causes the issue to happen. Um, you can sometimes see some pink pit, uh, voxels showing through. So, and also, if we just start walking around, the Skybot Jib here will um, leave a little bit of a pink background as well. There he goes. He just totally left a pink background, and uh, it looks like that entire tile right there didn't get re-rendered. So. That's an issue that's really on my mind. I'm trying to solve that, figure out what exactly is going on. And that's what all these purple boxes of everything that's colored purple is basically representing, you know, 
entities that are repainted by another entity. So anyways, that's what I'm trying to tackle right now. So small victories while I'm super busy here at GDC, but uh, glad you're making some progress.